It's Beer O'Clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer that's been produced for Aldi, made in France, in a 330 milliliter bottle. I seen this in Aldi, and it was just one of those, the beer aisle, the beer aisles in Aldi are getting bigger and bigger. Lots of choice, lots of different kind of colorful cans these days, and stouts and porters, best bitters, great lager selection, then you've got all your ciders and, and this was a bit of a spot because it was kind of just thrown in, it was single kind of single file on the shelf and it was one of those beers that blink and you miss it, you're picking up something else, you're picking up a stout or a porter or some funky IPA in Aldi but I seen it and I thought oh that, that looks new, that looks different, always on the hunt for new beers on the channel. So this is Beer Millesimi. It's a dry hopped beer, as I mentioned, produced for Aldi stores in France, 5.5% ABV, 330 milliliter bottle. And it kind of reminds me of the old fashioned meantime bottles. If you've ever drunk meantime, the chocolate porter from say, 2010 to 2014. You probably remember Mean Times Chocolate Porter in a bottle this shaped. And it always flew off the shelf because the bottle was always tidy looking, really nicely presented, a nice style to it. So, gold bottle cap on this one. Let's get the beer out into a glass and see what we get. Glass. I thought I'd go with my St. Stephanus Belgian style glass for this one. The beer was, was around £1.70 per bottle that kind of ballpark figure. It's February. I picked this up at Christmas time, so um, I haven't got an exact price on this. It was about £1.70. It wasn't that expensive that I went, ooh, I'm gonna put this back on the shelf, you know? Um, it was pretty reasonable. One finger, white head, good levels of carbonation, amber colored beer. It looks good, doesn't it? It looks really good. Let's get the aroma. Well, it goes really well in this glass. I think if this was a, say, an, let me grab an IPA glass. I think because this glass goes in, and it concentrates everything up your nostrils. I think this would definitely be the wrong glass. This would be the wrong glass for this beer. This bowl shape where, because there's a lot of kind of esters coming out of this beer. There's a, there's a little bit of alcohol. It's a little estery from the yeast. And that bowl shape is just kind of just the aromas are coming out from every side of the glass, if that makes sense. It's not like, like that's more of a chimney in it. It's being kind of like forced out into your nostrils. Whereas this, it, it, it's being kind of perfumed out the side of the glass. And it, what I'm trying to say is it, it's not too much. You're just getting your nose in, you're having a little kind of smell from the side. But it's nice. It's a nice aroma, it's sweet. A little bit peppery, a little bit spicy. A little bit hoppy, but I'd say more sweet, peppery and spicy. That Belgian kind of French style candied sugar aroma is coming through. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. That's good. 
That's good beer. I would say, now I'm gonna talk to you guys like you Belgian beer specialists. This tastes like a really light Belgian triple. Not a blonde, not a Belgian blonde because that's very light normally, different malts. This is more, yeah, a, a very kind of like laid back light Belgian triple. That's only 5.5% ABV. Does that make sense? With blondes, with Belgian blondes, they're more, you're using really light wafer, like light crisp malts for a Belgian blonde. Whereas for a triple, you're using slightly darker malts and that reflects in the flavor. It's tasting like a really light Belgian triple. And, and if you're new to beer, this may not be making an awful lot of sense to you. So I'll break it down. Sweet, hoppy, spicy, peppery, nicely balanced. Carbonation, just push around the inside of the mouth, releases more of that flavor. This is one of those beers, I'll go back to being in the aisle in Aldi. You're faced with a big choice of beer these days in Aldi. You could buy yourself a couple of decent German lagers in Aldi, a couple of G decent Weiss beers. You could then move over, have one of these French style beers at 5.5% ABV. You could have a couple of stouts on the go. You, the, what I'm trying to say is there's a real variety now. If you want to have lots of different tastes of lots of different beers from Aldi, then you can do that. You can do that. You can have a stout, you can have an IPA, you can have a lager, you can have a vice beer, you can have a light, light Belgian blonde stroke triple that's been brewed in France style beer. You can buy their cork and caged beer special if you want from Aldi. Um, it's it's a much improved range in Aldi this day and age. Um, I'll never be a massive fan of a lot of their craft beers in Aldi, but the other stuff, the French stuff, the German stuff, the Italian stuff, it's all pretty decent. It really is. It really is. This is good. For the money, look at it. £1.60, £1.70, something along those lines. It's well behaved, good quality beer. Decent aroma, decent taste. Brassie en France. Sounded like Dalboy then, didn't I? Speaking French. Uh, yeah, I mean, there's no, there's no real kind of where this is made, or just, just brassy, brassy on France. So that, that I think that translates in English to the French brewery. Let's rate it. It's decent. It's an eight out of ten. Eight out of ten from Real Craft Beer. Pick it up if it's still there. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.